All right, guys, if you just finished a workout, it's time to do a cool down. So let's just start with a nice, easy march. You want to do a cool down after every single workout. It's the opposite of a warm up. You want to, with a warm up, we're going from a resting state to get our body ready for exercise. Now we're doing the reverse. We're taking our body from this heightened state uh, of exercise and bringing it back down to a nice relaxed state. A cool down is going to significantly reduce your soreness the days after a workout, and it's going to significantly reduce the likelihood of you getting injured. So the first thing we want to do, depending on your workout, is slowly let your heart rate come down. So we don't need to do a ton for that, but if you just go and sit down or lay down, uh, your body is going to immediately slow down, your heart rate's going to plummet, and again, this is going to not help your body recover from exercise. So from here, we're going to reach up to the sky, take a big deep breath, reach up to the sky, dive down to the ground, nice and relaxed, and we want to slowly roll up from here. Take your time, slowly roll up. Let's do that one more time, big deep breath, reach to the sky, dive the arms down, nice and relaxed. Rule number one with stretching, it should never be painful. You'll see a lot of people in pain when they stretch. You're only gonna make your muscles tighten up even worse. Bend the knees, slowly roll up. Good. We're gonna do a lunge stretch next. So from here, one leg's forward, one leg's back. If you need to be near a wall or something to hold on to, that's fine. With this stretch, you want to point all 10 toes forward. So most people, especially your back foot, is going to want to point out to the side. Straighten that foot out. Your hips, shoulders, everything's pointing straight ahead. Tall posture. From here, you're going to lunge forward, keeping this tall posture. What you should then feel is a good stretch in your hip flexor or your quad, the front of the leg here. Take some big, deep breaths. You want to feel pull of the muscle, but not pain. Good. Let's go ahead and switch sides. You're going to hold a stretch anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. The time is irrelevant, though. You want to stretch as long as you feel a benefit. Once you start to feel no additional benefit, then uh, you can move on to the next exercise. Longer than 30 seconds is going to be a bit of a waste of time. Shorter than 15 seconds is useless. So, all 10 toes pointing forward, hips straight ahead, tall posture, lunge forward. Feel that stretch in your hip flexor here, the front of the thigh. A couple deep breaths, nice and relaxed. Deep breathing causes a mechanical relaxation of your muscles. Good, go and come up. So next we're going to find a wall, a door jam, a pole, a taller piece of furniture. We're going to put your palm no higher than your shoulder against uh, the wall with your thumb pointing up. So your thumb should be pointing towards the ceiling. And now you're going to rotate away from your arm. Relax the shoulders. So you may want to shrug here, but we want to relax the shoulders. Nice tall posture. Take a big deep breath. Pull of the muscle, no pain. With this particular stretch, you're going to feel it where you're tight. So you may feel it in your chest, your shoulder, your bicep, your forearm, your hand, or all of those places. But you're going to feel this one where you're most tight, although this is referred to as a chest stretch. Let's go ahead and switch arms. Palm flat against the wall. Uh, hand no higher than your shoulder. Thumb pointed up towards the ceiling. Rotate away from your arm. Relax your shoulders. All right, we're gonna do one more. Reach to the sky and we're gonna dive to the ground. So really take your time here. Big deep breath, reach for the sky. Exhale on the way down. Nice and relaxed. Let gravity do the work. 
Legs relatively straight, although not locked out. Take a couple deep breaths. Slowly come up, bend the knees. All right, great cool down, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see ya.